Yeah, so apparently she's, you know, most of the work... A counter-Islamophobia toolkit released in Brussels on Wednesday that offers counter-narratives to take on Islamophobia. The UK's Islamic Human Rights Commission co-authored the project, which is the first of its kind. So in Europe, uh, one of the key consistent themes that you see is, you know, Muslims as a security threat. Uh, Muslims as being disloyal uh, to the state, Muslims uh, being culturally incompatible with their countries. And that's the case whether, you know, Muslims are in a minority in that or whether there's a significant population in that country or not. The report makes recommendations to governments and educational institutes to tackle prejudice against Muslims, such as the report recommends people disregard hierarchies of racism and acknowledge Islamophobia as a form of racism acknowledge bias against Muslims in social and political institutions, understand Muslims are not all the same and don't all believe the same thing. The toolkit responds to a shift in European politics. Some countries have seen a rise in far-right parties. Austria has ministers from the far-right Freedom Party in government, and Germany has seen electoral gains for the right-wing AFD. Hate crime monitors have reported an increase in attacks and rhetoric against Muslims in the UK. Last year in London, Darren Osborne drove a van into worshippers outside a mosque during Ramadan, killing one and injuring eight others. This report seeks to address Islamophobic narratives across Europe. For Muslims here in the UK, what's concerning is the rise of Islamophobic hate crimes and hate speech and the negative portrayal of Muslims in the media. When something happens, they name it as Muslim so-and-so did this, but if it was a white person or a black person, they're not going to be like a British person had a car accident and killed so many people. It's always like targeting Muslims, and it's Muslim and then it's terrorist. Automatically, that's what they think. It's a Islamophobia area, left, right and centre, you know what I mean? I've, I've dealt with it, I've, I've, had, I've, I've been experienced of... I've dealt with, I've been like a victim of Islamophobia. It is increasing and it is on the street these days. People are, many people are suffering, people are taking, people are taking people's scarf. Uh, when women go out, they're not safe. The report is a small step in taking on Islamophobia. But is it enough? Asad Beg, TRT World, London.